Hi guys, Lunar here. Welcome back to another brand new mods video where we go over new mods for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One every single day. Before we start, don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoy and follow me on Twitter as well to see the current mods I have installed that you can see in the game. Excluding the showcase mods, of course. Anyway, we can jump into the first one. Our first mod is the smallest one of the day, but it does make one big change to the mountains. The mod is to improve the rocks and mountain textures, and it improves the textures of all rocks and mountains in the game with higher detailed 2K or 4K textures. The nice thing about this mod is that it doesn't make new mountain textures, it adds much higher quality versions of the vanilla ones, so that way you can have improved vanilla Skyrim, which is actually a really cool thing. So if you want higher quality mountains, try out this mod right now. Next up guys, we have a mod called Tal Moss. The mod adds a new house near Hillgrun Tomb, close to Iverstead, that's a unique style of Talvani and Dwemer. It features all the crafting stations, loads of containers and bookshelves, solstice music and interiors. It's fully nav mesh for your followers as well. It has a bunch of other stuff as well, like there's a crafting area, it doesn't have a forge, but there is a workbench. There's a fireplace, a small study area, and all the simple things you need for a player home. But it's very nicely decorated and has plenty of static objects for decoration as well. Overall, a very unique and nicely made player home. Our next mod is called Crown Helmets Redix. The mod adds a new item to the game called Crown Helmets. You can craft them at the forge in the corresponding sections with the corresponding perks and you have a slight chance to find them on NPCs, merchants and loot. So essentially they've been added to the level list. They are crown versions of the vanilla helmets and they give you more choice on what to wear for your character. I also like them as well because helmets seem to get rid of your hair most of the time and I tend not to wear a helmet for that reason, but you can with these so that's very cool. They are slightly different though and they don't provide as much armor rating as a vanilla helm, but they're lighter and they require less to make. So the current crowns you get are the iron crown which is heavy, a steel crown which is heavy, dwemer crown heavy, elven crown which is light, you get the Orcish and Ebony crowns which are heavy, a Glass crown which is light, Heavy Dragonbone crown, Light Dragon Scale crown, and the Heavy Daedric crown. The mod author also plans to add in more crown for other in-game armors like the factions, DLCs, and other stuff. So a nice mod, worth trying out, and I definitely like the way that this steel crown here makes my character look. Definitely gives me a more Dragonborn kind of feel. Our next mod guys is called Advanced Wizarding Wands and with this mod, 9 kinds of wand are added to the Staff Enchanter's wood category. You can craft them exactly the same way as you would any staff. The different kinds of wand you get are related to the destruction spells used to make them and they are Firebolt, Fireball, Incinerate, Ice Spike, Ice Storm and Ice Spear and Lightning Bolt, Chain Lightning and Thunderbolt. So of course using magic in your wand also means that the spell cast by the wand will raise your destruction skill. You don't have to attack with the wands though, you can also use them for defense and create a barrier to prevent magic damage and also it will reduce damage of incoming arrows by 95%. Plus you can also cast disarm with it as well. So a cool mod, you can only equip one wand at a time though and you can only have a wand with your right hand. If you try to equip the wand on your left hand or try to equip a wand and a weapon at the same time, the player will automatically equip the dummy's unarmed weapon. Overall, it's a very cool mod. If I play as a magic user in game, I would definitely much rather use a wand than a staff, especially if using destruction magic. So definitely check this one out for yourself. Our final mod is the Knight Lotrek Armor from Legree. The mod adds in the armor based on the armor from the boss in Dark Souls. In order to get the armor, you will have to kill this tough Dark Souls boss and he's located on the map with a new map marker and be prepared for a tough fight because there's also a dragon here. If you kill him, you will get rewarded with the following items. You get the Armor of Favor, Boots of Favor, Helm of Favor and the Gloves of Favor. You also get Chatel times 2 which are one-handed swords that you can see. In terms of stats, well the armor is around the same as David but the weapons are about three times as powerful as a Daedric sword. You cannot improve this stuff though, but you can enchant them if you want to. Overall, a very nice armor mod. So there we have it guys, our five mods of the day. Before we end, I just wanted to tell you guys, I will be uploading some Destiny 2 videos. So like during the beta, I will be putting the Skyrim mods aside for a little while as I have tons of stuff to do for Destiny 2 in the first couple of weeks. But don't worry, I will go back to daily mods very, very soon. Um, once I finish probably making collectible videos and completing the main campaign, but it probably won't be too long because I'll be playing like 12 hours a day. So for a little while guys, keep that in mind, there will be quite a lot of Destiny 2 videos going up, but then I will go back into Skyrim mods. And Anyway, that's about it for this video. If you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up and comment. It really does help me out. And if you haven't done so yet, subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a video. And with that being said, guys, stay awesome, and I'll see you all next time.